Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this halo eyeshadow look. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. Okay, so I am starting out with my transition shade. I am using an eyeshadow from Inglot in the shade 300. All of the eyeshadows that I'm actually using in this video are from Inglot. Um, I'm actually recording this at work, which you guys can probably tell the background does look different. That's why I'm recording it at work because um, we're. I brought my camera in because I wanted to help create some content for our Instagram. So that's why the background is different, but this lighting, you guys, is so bomb. I wish that I had this at home. Like, oh my gosh, like it's so good. I was like, I need to film all my videos in here because I'm still trying to figure out the lighting at my house and making it look this good. So anyways, uh, I'm going back in with that exact same shade that I used in the transition, and I'm just kind of mapping out where I'm going to be putting the darker eyeshadow. And I'm just building this color up. So I'm just putting it in the inner and outer corner and then just kind of connecting the center just a little bit. I'm not adding, you know, any additional color in there because I kind of want it to be light right there. And I'm just going to blend it out with a clean brush. And I just do this multiple times. I think I did it like three or four times. Um, just to really deepen up the inner and outer corner. And you guys can go in as much as you want. I just didn't show me doing it the entire time because for the sake of time you know I, this would be like an hour long video so that's what I'm doing here I'm just really packing on the color and then just blending it out Okay, so once I decided that I had enough of that cognac color, I went in and I actually mixed three different shades. I literally just kind of dipped in each one um, to kind of create like a custom eyeshadow. So I used the shades 302, 297, and 301. One of them is like a reddish brown. The other one's just like a dark brown. And then um, it's like a the, the next one is like a dark purple. And I just literally just mixed them together just because I wanted all those shades in the eyeshadow and I couldn't find one so I basically just created it myself so um, I'm just packing that color in multiple times and instead of blending the shadow upward I'm blending it into my eye because I'm not trying to create a smoky eye I'm trying to create a halo eye and if you blend up or out too much it's just gonna smoke out the eye a lot and it's just gonna look like a smoky eye which kind of defeats the purpose so that's why you see me going in with a brush and just kind of blending inward and same thing with the other shade I just built that color up until I felt like it was as dark as I wanted it so you guys can feel free to do that um, and you guys you guys don't have to use these eyeshadows like I said I'm using eyeshadows that we had in the store so I mean if I were creating this at home I would just grab whatever eyeshadows I had here and just kind of made it work so you guys can kind of customize this however you want but this is kind of like the um, how you put it on how do you create that halo eyeshadow look So once I was done blending out this eyeshadow, I just kind of used whatever was left on the brush to kind of help um, connect the two darker portions of my eye just because I find it to be more wearable when it's a little bit connected rather than just open. But that's personal preference. Um, you guys can leave it open if you want, you know, it's up to you. Um, but now I'm just going in with a little bit of concealer. The concealer that I am using is from Becca in the shade Macadamia just to really make sure that that pigment is Poppin you know what I'm saying so the pigment that I used is in the shade 22 It's like a really light purple and it has like a lot of gold reflex. It's so pretty um, But I just popped that in the center of my eye now I'm just going back in with the same eyeshadows that I was telling you guys I mixed together to darken up the um, Inner and outer corner and just kind of help make sure everything is blending well together and then just connecting the top of the two as well I decided to go with the baby wing for this look just because I didn't want to take away too much from the eyeshadow. Um, so I'm literally just doing this just so my eyelashes won't look weird when I put them on. Just kind of darken right near the lash line. But this one is also from Ingla. It's a gel liner in the shade 90 which is just a really rich brown. Yeah. 
And to make this look a little bit more sultry, I went ahead and used a cold pencil and I tight lined my eye and added some in the waterline as well. <laughs> You guys, I could not leave that out of this video. It was just so freaking funny. Um, so I know it looked like I'm poking my eye, but um, I actually did it here. I wasn't poking my eye earlier. None of that hurt in case you're worried or concerned. Um, but I'm just going back in with the same eyeshadows that I used on the top lid. So I went in with cognac all over the lower lash line. And then in the... Um, like closer to the lash line I used the three darker shades that were mixed together and I made the outer part of my eye a little bit thicker and then just a little bit lighter when I went into the inner corner of my eye um, that's just a way to do it you can also do like the same steps that I did on the top to the bottom and put the pigment in the center but I just that pigment was so loose I wasn't trying to do all that but anyways now I'm highlighting with Becca in champagne pop Here is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. Um, let me know what you guys think about the lighting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And see you guys in my next video.